Hi, I'm Rory from eSpares, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the inlet valve in this Bosch washing machine. We're around the back of the machine, just, just to show you how the water goes into the machine. It goes through the inlet hose, through the inlet valve, and into the machine. Now, the, the inlet valve controls how much water goes into the machine and when it goes in during the cycle. Now, there's two types of inlet valve. There's a hot water valve and a cold water valve. However, in most modern washing machines, only the cold water valve will be plumbed in. Now, how do you know if your valve is damaged? Well, it's most likely to happen during cold weather. Cold water inside the inlet valve can freeze and therefore expand and crack the valve, causing leakage. So if you're finding water leaking at the back of the machine or underneath, and it's definitely not coming from the door seal at the front, then the chances are you'll need to replace the inlet valve, especially, like I say, if the leakage is occurring during or after particularly cold weather. So here we have a selection of different inlet valves. They come in all different shapes and sizes, from the simple, like this one-way hot water inlet valve, to the more complex, like this four-way cold water inlet valve, which sends water into four different directions in the washing machine, and also has four valves, like you see here. Um, but it doesn't matter how simple or complex the inlet valve is in your washing machine, the most important thing you, you need to make sure of is that you get the right inlet valve for your washing machine. To do this, you'll need your washing machine's model number. And this can be found either inside the door, around the front, or, like on this washing machine, on this label on the back. Now, what I'm going to do is replace the two-way cold water inlet valve on this Bosch WFL series washing machine. Safety first, do make sure that your washing machine is unplugged before you get to work, and you'll need to get your washing machine into a nice big open space just so that you have enough room to work on it. Uh, now, the first thing I need to do is remove this top panel. So to do that, I'll need to remove the screws holding it in place at the back. They're held in place with Torx head screws. Uh, you can get a Torx set on the Eastbeds website. I'm going to use a Torx bit on the end of a driver. So here we have our cold water inlet valve. First thing I'm going to do is just remove this connection block. There you go. Now I need to take these two hoses off of the valve. So I'll just need some pliers to unclip, just like that. And now I can just take the hoses off. The inlet valve is actually clipped into the main chassis of the machine and there's a bit of a knack to removing it. You can either put your flathead screwdriver underneath the bottom of it and lever it out, or the slightly easier way of getting your screwdriver and pushing forward on it from back, just like that, and then using the hand to just lever it out. There you go, and it just comes away just like that. To fit the new valve, all you need to do is repeat all the steps you've just taken, but in reverse. Now, uh, there's nothing wrong with this valve, so I'm just going to refit it to the machine. And that's how easy it is to replace the inlet valve in this Bosch washing machine. Inlet valves for all make and model of washing machine are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.